promise you guys won't die this season because we cannot promise that. Uh, you know, we showed a little teaser today of uh, of Barbie kind of falling to an unknown fate. And the thing with this show is that no one is safe, no matter where you are on the call sheet, no matter uh, when, when you come into the show, no one's safe. That's classic Stephen King. So people will have to just tune in to kind of see. So what can you tease for the rest of the season? Because it's been uh, quite a, a lot of things happening in just a few episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely, our season is definitely sort of action packed this year. Um, and I think that one of the things, as much as I love the, you know, the crises and sort of that, um, having all that uh, epic stuff go on, um, in the later episodes, it does slow down a little and you get to have more character stuff. And I think for us, we're sort of looking forward to the audience getting to see more character development and uh, watch the relationships unfold and, and the show slows down a little. So I think it's great. We sort of came out screaming right off the top and then now we'll give people, you know, a better look into who these people are that are and, and where they might be going. See what I did there? <laughs> and more about the dome? Yeah, yeah, that was my tease. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, it was my a good tease, tease where we might be going. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so yeah, much. Thank Looking you. Forward. Julia and Barbie, they seem like they're kind of like, you know, hot father all over again, but at the same time, they're not on the same place as far as how do things should go. Are they going to, like, drift away at this point, or are they going to figure out a way to solve some of the problems and work together again? Baby, can we work it out? No. <laughs> um, it's over. Are you breaking up now? That's it. <laughs> breaking He's, here first. He's done with me. That's right. Uh, you know, I think their relationship is like a relationship in life. There's ebbs and flows, and uh, uh, the turmoil is interesting, and, and uh, differences are interesting. So we're introducing some of that, but I think at the heart of these two is clearly they share the same. Beyond it all, they share the same end goal and uh, the same desires for this town, for the people of this town. So there'll always be ebbs and flows, but is it anything permanent? I think people would, would people probably know that that's not the case. Um, is Barbie suspicious of Sam? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I don't like the guy one bit. Um, uh, first of all, he seems so friendly. Yeah. First of all. <laughs> The man's trying to eat out of my kitchen. Um, but uh, but second of all, as we as we found out last week, and we'll continue to find out in ensuing episodes, uh, he ain't a squeaky clean guy, and there's uh, he, he's caused some trouble, and all, all of those all of those things are about to come out. Well, the audience certainly thinks that Sam killed Candy, but do yeah. you think that Barbie does also? Uh, well, right where Barbie's at right now is there's he's got two suspects is where we left off. We, you know, we found out last week that it was either Lyle or Sam. So it was one of those two guys. And Barbie may not be 100% sure yet, but he's got an idea. She's been running around with this guy, uh, and that's when he comes to her house in the last episode to, to try and warn her of. Uh, regardless of whether you wanna you, you wanna talk to me again, that's fine. But just look out for this guy. And I think it, last week's episode ended really great with, with with her innocently going to make some tea, and we reveal a little something on old on old Sam boy uh, that that tips the hand that she may be in, in some trouble. How much from the trailer previously showed us that they were going to force him into like this big cavern and he's going to be hanging by a rope and he cuts the rope and she screams and he falls. Are they going to come out of that situation okay or is that just going to be a bad, bad situation? <laughs> I mean, it definitely changes things. It definitely changes the dynamic of the relationship. Um, the outcome changes things for everybody in the in the show. Um, for I'm the, not looking for, for another cast. job. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I, I think that it's interesting. It's like it does it does a lot to the relationship, but it also that event also opens up our mythology a whole lot. So what comes after that serves serves the greater story of the show just as much as it changes character dynamics and, and creates emotional ripples. Um, so yeah, it's a big, it's a really big event. Um, yeah, and the, the, the repercussions of that moment do reverberate throughout the season.
there's a confession in there as well. It's a beautiful confession. But <laughs> so we're going to see some developments from that. <laughs> from the... From, from Barbie's character's confession to yeah. Julia. About what? He Sorry. <laughs> oh! Is that the first time our characters have said I love them? I think it is. I feel like we play that so much that it didn't occur to me that that was yeah, the first right. time. Yeah. I just knew he loved me. I yeah. Didn't... yeah. Wow. I think I think it's I think it's the first time. I love you. Yeah. Because then we're we're yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting because you know you make up a we have all these like that we have we have all these like backstories for ourselves like you know there's so much that happens to our characters that's not on the screen and in order to tell the story we have to evolve with you know in real time. So I feel like that was something that I just sort of assumed they'd already had that moment. Right. In my, and I didn't realize that was. And we shoot a lot of things out of order. So. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we do shoot out of order. So the next scene then is I hate you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, and then they can insert it into it. I love you. I hate you. I love you. I hate you. Speaking of your characters evolving, is there anything that you developed that wasn't scripted before? Um. Mm -hmm. There's always a little bit of stuff that's not scripted. Like we try to, as actors, we play a lot. And so I think that it's more the stuff that's not scripted is not necessarily that makes it into the show. It's not the stuff that's um, it's not like actual dialogue improv. Although there is a little bit of that sometimes. I think it's more like we try to infuse and charge. So so no matter what we're talking about, even if it's a good expository, even if we're talking about the science stuff about the dome, we try to infuse that the underlying thing with how we feel about each other. Yeah, absolutely, and they key on key in on certain things that we do, and, and they like it, and they'll you know, keep it going. Yeah. How much have you guys been told about the mystery of the dome? Like, how much do you know that hasn't been revealed yet? But it's an interesting thing. I mean, anyone can read the book and see. I mean, the the ultimate answer of this thing we can't change. You know what I mean? So within staying true to, to that ultimate answer, how we get there is our interpretation. And as what Stephen King has said is if we can continue his work beyond the book and, and, and stretch that out in a medium that he couldn't do in the book, that's what we're doing right now. Um, as far as what we know in advance, I mean, we only ever know maybe three episodes in advance, and even then, only broad strokes. A lot of the things that are pitched to us early in the season end up changing as the season goes on, so you kind of just have to take it as it comes. We're In a way, we're taking a ride that the audience is taking as we're filming it, because we don't know what's coming next, uh, which is fun and frustrating all at the same time. We're also on a show where nobody is above the guillotine, so you like wait for your scripts, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.